Welcome to the NOOC Connected and Critical Methodologies that is part of the European project ENID, funded by the Erasmus Plus program of the European Union. Every cloud has a silver lining. In order to adapt to COVID and containment, professors in higher education, secondary school teachers, as well as lifelong learning educators and trainers have risen to the occasion and dramatically increased their digital skills. The experiments carried out have revealed what works well and what doesn't. They have enabled us to identify effective tools and methods to teach at a distance or to integrate digital bricks into face-to-face -face teaching. All this while maintaining or even improving motivation and connections with the participants. These are all lessons that should be put to good use especially since the integration of digital technology is now part of the practices and uses to be mastered and not to be subjected to for professors, teachers and trainers. Preparing, improving and keeping up with these new practices is the purpose of this course, so that you may feel legitimate in your ability to engage in pedagogical scenarios responsive to your needs and those of your students. To make your life easier, and as a complement to the training offer existing in your institution, this free course, which can be taken at your own pace, is designed to be of easy access and is facilitated by higher education teachers and trainers. It is also based on the most recent research in the field and provides theoretical insights for those who wish to go further. It should save you time in transforming and creating your own digital resources and give you the essential technical and legal benchmark. For example, answering questions many of you have about intellectual property, which is enhanced in the digital format, but actually acts as a legal deposit. What digital practices have proven successful in teaching and learning? How can Diversifying your instructional design and using connected resources motivate your students or make them see a question or a proposition differently. In the face of information overload and rampant disinformation that does not spare our scientific sphere, what critical skills can we foster in our young learners? These are some of the questions that this NOOC tries to answer to help you better manage this new situation by proposing micro-sessions Hence, the acronym NUC, where the N stands for NANO. In this NUC, we have several objectives to respond to this rapid changing world and to help you take control of this new professional way of teaching and use it wisely. So, the objectives are training you in the interpersonal and critical use of digital tools and social networks in educational scenarios. Mastering connected learning, connectivism, with a focus on hyperconnection, networking and collaboration. Appropriating methodologies for implementing connected and critical learning online and or in class based on universal accessibility and design criteria for learning. Exploring the uses and possibilities of technology in education, in collaboration with colleagues and students, instructional engineers and other stakeholders. Developing critical and effective capacity for the exploration of existing practices and the construction of individual and collaborative projects. The NOOC is divided into four units in which resources and contents are arranged and complemented by proposals for personal or group activities. The first unit presents the NOOC and the ENID project, which offers four other NOOCs over two years as part of the European project that involves Spain, Romania, Portugal, Italy and France. The second unit deals with connected methodologies. The third one deals with critical methodologies and connected resources and devices. And the fourth one is about reflexivity and evaluation. The NOOC also offers various descriptive and interactive resources in all the languages of the five participant partners, with English as the additional bonus language. Uh, we have created them ourselves to suggest that you can make them your own. Some are familiar to you and require little time and effort, like making an existing PDF interactive, 
Others are more demanding and involve transformations, like uh, going from a PowerPoint to a Genially. Some are proprietary tools and services, others are open source. Some of the materials and tools to create these resources are free, but become paying in the functionalities increase. It is up to you to choose, depending on the modes of access and your own philosophy and means. And in any case, at the end, we suggest a toolbox. Several activities are proposed to get you started and to encourage you to move into action with interaction with other peers. They solicit your participation and contribution, but in a light way. We have tried not to complicate the tasks too much to show you that it is possible to do it independently and to suggest a large repertoire of strategies and practices. The final goal is to make you want to build your own solutions, alone or with others, in communities of practice that can be internal or external to your institution. We are aware that time is of the essence and to best organize it, we suggest you dedicate about 25 hours in total to the NOOC. You should plan about 10 hours for the reading and sharing of content and resources, five hours for peer-to-peer -peer interactions on the forums of the platform and the social networks, and 10 hours for your own personal work, which will lead to an activity evaluated by peers in good critical and connected logic. You can organize yourself according to your availability, follow the modules in the order in which they appear, enter by a grain that arouses your curiosity. You can work while in transport or on mobile. Give yourself the necessary time to take advantage of the exchanges between peers that take place on the platform. The NOOC is run as a social NOOC, three times, in January, in June, in November 2023. The last two sessions will be in all six languages. After that, it will become an open educational resource and other NOOCs are going to complete the spectrum of digital methodologies. You have one on collaborative and research methodologies, another on active and gamified methodologies, another one on inverted methodologies, and also about designing flexible learning programs. Taking over five of them over a period of two years should give you all the confidence you need and allow you to claim certificates of participation and even ECTSs. We wish you a good NOOC experience.